Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I am Tatiana Popa. I am an English teacher from Republic of Moldova. I am also a Twinning ambassador here, and um, I have been exposed to web tools before. Uh, Bart and Ariana have been uh, with me for many um, journeys online learning um, from them. So um, now in these days um, of coronavirus, I think all I have learned in the training helped me enormously. And this is what I share with my uh, all my colleagues and uh, the teachers in Moldova. So today I'm going to tell you the story of how my school, uh, being the only school um, in Moldova who um, started teaching remotely, um, centralized way, not um, not um, randomly as some teachers in some schools do and the others do not. So we have had um, a thoroughly well-planned um, business learning plan. Uh, we have shared this with the ministry. Uh, today, for example, uh, we had um, several uh, representatives from the ministry in uh, our school um, and I had to do a webinar uh, for um, education representatives from different uh, corners of Moldova in order to teach them how to use Google Classroom for online teaching. Uh, so this is what I'm going to um, tell you today. Um, so, um, the first, um, our administration had uh, the mind to uh, think that this um, crisis will not last only three days, as it was uh, initially uh, mentioned in the news. So, um, the administration staff um, developed a well-designed um, plan on how to go online, the entire school, not just some teachers. So, these are the 10 steps our Heritage International School has taken in order to move to the distance learning uh, method. So, um, first of all, had a crisis management plan. Um, so, it is um, um, connected to risk management policy. And you, you can find all these documents on our school site, um, heritage.md. Uh, so, we had firstly to identify which are our main communication tools with the parents and the students in order to uh, make uh, communication better during this uh, time. Uh, and the principle of not having a snow day, but uh, would take one, two days and go back to school. So we st and try to uh, move to the new normal, that would mean um, getting used to the new environment and um, trying to move on. So I have taken even some of the ideas from uh, our director's presentation, uh, which he designed and sent uh, to the ministry and shared with the uh, school community. Um, then um, we put together this planning plan, we formed a group and uh, established what are the main tools to be used and the principle of the school is open, only the campus is closed. So students do not come in school but the teachers deliver their teaching and students learn at home. Um, so we had, a, uh, this is the crisis, uh, crisis management plan and um, we uh, have used, um, uh, who is moving the slides? <laughs> so we had um, the choice of using Google Classroom because all our students and uh, teachers are connected to um, Google accounts. We all have uh, Gmail accounts. This uh, made the uh, task easier for us. So we only, some of us had to learn how to use Google Classroom in order to um, arrange and plan the subjects and do the, uh, the teaching. So uh, some of the staff in our school did not know how to use uh, these tools. So they had to, um, had some uh, short workshops that uh, showed them, um, those who had experience had to show. Then uh, we had to identify issues and uh, communication with uh, parents and, uh, and students uh, is uh, very important. So um, we decided that we don't need to uh, have the offline learning because all our students have the possibility to get online in order to study daily. And we are amazed that uh, it actually works perfectly and it's 100% attendance every day. Uh, then um, this is the plan. Uh, this is the um, crisis management matrix for coronavirus. So we quickly moved from level, uh, level zero to level two, and then in one night we moved uh, to number four. So the, uh, the schools were closed in two days. So we kind of anticipated and worked very quickly on this. 
So this is the uh, thorough description of uh, how uh, the cases of coronavirus um, spread in Moldova, how the first one appeared and so on. So we quickly, very quickly, we announced that we are staying home. So our Facebook page uh, shares also um, a big um, uh, Google site with the distance learning information that, that is very well um, designed and parents can understand how we are working. Uh, then we have on our school site, we have the link to the Google site and you can have a look if you need and use uh, the documents as well. Um, then um, this is how our virtual classrooms look like on Google Classroom. So these are mine. Um, I can say that it, um, it works perfectly and my colleague Adriana, who is now uh, also present here, can confirm she has grade one. I have um, an upper grade, if you see, uh, I mean secondary, five, seven, six. Um, so it works for all ages of students. And uh, we use the Google Hangouts Meet in order to uh, meet face-to-face uh, -face every day, every lesson. And this helps us enormously to, um, I share my screen and I show students all the documents, all the links, all the sites. And uh, we are even more productive than uh, being in class. They are not disruptive. Uh, they, we don't have the behavior issues that we had in class. And um, so the social media posting, of course, um, I um, can say that our parents are extremely grateful according to the feedback we receive every single day. Either they write emails to the administration or they write directly to us. But it, it is impressive, but it, it really works. It is not difficult to do it. You just need to, um, a day or two maybe if you don't know how to work on Google Classroom and then and then you can do everything. So lots of tools being used. I love using tools, of course. So either we create um, Google documents or we read a book together, uh, sharing the link. So this is yesterday what we read. Uh, we have read a book with my students. I can hear each of them engaged and working. So I make a presentation for the units and we move together the slides and um, do all the activities. So here is how my students wrote a paragraph. Um, so the instructions are given, each of them contributed and I can see them in real time how they do their job. As if I was walking around the desk, um, between the desks and um, uh, checking if they're writing their notebooks. So it is very easy to work. Um, I love it. So here is the uh, how we post the assignments. Um, if they submit, um, I automatically see. Um, I can um, uh, check them here and give uh, feedback instantly. Um, Google Classroom works perfectly. And um, here are some pieces of advice for um, students. So, uh, you know, online safety goes first. It is the most important. And then uh, the netiquette, we need to establish rules from the start so that students uh, know how to um, behave in the online class. Because some of them might think this is just playing. It's not lesson. But actually, we uh, mark the absences. We give grades. Uh, we work hard. So um, we need to establish the routines and to identify um, a place, uh, this is for students, uh, where they can work from home, to complete the assignments on time, to be active, proactive, and to meet the deadlines, to collaborate and support the others in learning, and uh, to comply with the um, policies of the school, and to seek uh, and, um, and communicate with other adults at Heritage. Uh, then uh, there is some um, uh, advice for parents too. So because the parents are uh, the key to success in online learning, if the parents establish good uh, routines and um, um, rules at home, then children do it brilliantly. So um, they should have an active role, especially in the primary when they don't know how to get in the Google Meet or they don't know how to do things. So at, at the beginning, at least, parents should be helping in order to, to work. Then um, for teachers, um, of course, I don't know what is the situation in your country. In my country, some of the teachers pretend they don't know how to use technology. Uh, they say they don't have uh, internet connectivity and so on. Still, it is around 90% of teachers in my country who own technology, who are connected, even though they are reluctant to uh, step out of their comfort zone and learn something new. Well, I can say if they use Facebook, it means they can use anything. Uh, 
Uh, then um, each student needs a Gmail account, of course, in order to be um, invited in the Google Classroom. Then we should give the uh, Google Classroom codes to the senior leader who would check how we do our teaching. This is for the sellers, of course. We uh, don't want to be uh, staying at home without the salary. Then we need to establish some school hours. It means if I have lessons from 8.30 to 3.30, I should be online and working. And then uh, the Google Hangouts, if you see students, um, the list of students on the right side, it means it is a kind of a register you see who is present at the lesson. Then uh, rules regarding um, how they should be dressed in the online meeting, they can't be coming in pajamas or uh, naked and so on. And uh, we should um, uh, try to um, do a variety of activities so that they don't uh, stay in front of the computer for six hours. We should make some pauses, we should give them different type, type of tasks so that they uh, work um, um, differently. So there are lots of resources to use in this case. So um, we need to do the learning in an interacting, engaging and challenging way. It should be interesting, it should uh, make them feel um, happy about what they are doing and um, we should not forget the teachers that now, as they are at home and the parents are also at home, we basically have the parents in our classrooms as well. Even if they don't show in front of the uh, camera, but we can guess that. So um, in this case, our director says doing nothing is not an option. We should find a way. Um, so my last thought would be, I love John Dewey and what he said. Um, if we teach today's students the way we taught yesterday's, it will simply rob them of tomorrow. Because we all know a 21st century learner should be um, developed and should um, have the skills to live in the 21st century and not, uh, not in the 20th, for example. Okay, this is what I have to say. Thank you very much for your attention. If you need any additional information, go to our site. It is uh, heritage.md.